so question so because i've um this was brought up in a conversation um that i've had but um <laughs> there was there was a mention of men saying you know they wouldn't want to have sex every day with somebody they're with in fear of it basically them getting tired of it too soon and then wanting to be with somebody else all right well newsflash them niggas lied you get tired right i mean things get redundant anything can become redundant that's right. actually another thing that i do want to touch on that wasn't where i was going to go next i kind of don't want to go there just yet okay. i want to kind of continue to mine out you know because y'all saying yo I, 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 I can't do it you expect this you stupid etc for even thinking that but do you want men that other women don't want and if you can't speak for yourself do women are women chasing men that other women don't want generally speaking no no we want somebody who's desirable mm -hmm. and tom what's up and so what happens so you want this top 15 percent man who has access to all these women which means he's getting his desires fulfilled and then you expect a, a monogamous commitment what happens then what make you think you could start rationing vagina then? What, what do you mean by, when you say ration what do you mean like it's just you play oregon trail portioning it out you play oregon <laughs> trail. we all play oregon trail come on can you stop saying that word like that? Yeah. How you say it? Oregon. Oregon. <laughs> Oregon. Really? Yeah, really. Yes, that's how you how you say it. I thought it was Oregon. Yeah, we know oh, we we we, we we come from the East Coast. We got the best educate stop. These country. All right, sorry. No, we know how to say it, Mary. Okay. You play Oregon Trail. <laughs> yeah. And what happens if you don't ration the food out? You die. <laughs> God, you say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never so, been <laughs> Rations, man. Rations. You know, but if you get in a man that you so that, is that like that, scheduled, like we're scheduling it. Rationing. Like, yo, you get like you're, you get you're giving a little, little bit, bit here, a little bit there. <laughs> portion <laughs> there. Break it down. Break portion it, down. it, you know what I mean? Maybe twice yeah. a week. Yeah. You know, Star fishing them. Oh, okay, so okay, no head, that type of thing. <laughs> I know I would never commit to every day, so I would never even <laughs> do so fat. set myself up with that. Oh my god, man! What up, Vic? Yeah, man. Um, I just what I'm saying is right, and I say top fifteen percent. What I'm really looking at is the twenty percent of men that women say are attractive and all that right generally speaking you want the most attractive person you can get and other qualities go into that right and so if this man has access to multiple women to fulfill his desires why when he get with you the expectation is that he can't get those desires feel filled because like sweet b said um other shit come up i'm sick of y'all shit man well, I don't agree with the ration. I think that again. Bro, 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 bro. Come on, come on. What? Stop the cap. I just, I didn't say I agreed with it. I if, just, if ration was a cereal, you would be on the cover. Like, come on. That's bro. why Stop. I asked the question Stop. because I do believe that you, you cannot be redundant. Because if you're redundant, it gets boring. It gets, you know, it gets redundant. And so she's not going to want to give it to you every day. But if she's open to doing different things, then I think that is very realistic to do something every day. Hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Dana, Lauren, Sweet B, Sis, Mary. I, I can't. Think, I can't pay y'all to mute. I, <laughs> I think rationing sounds intentional. Like I'm withholding from you intentionally. So. I don't like that that terminology because I think that if we could y'all forget that we're sexual too. So if we could have sex 
every day and it's practical, we would do it too. But that's just not real. That's not realistic. That's not real life. That's not how life works. Yeah. That's why I can't imagine it. I just, I don't get it. And again, mm. even if you do mm. promise every day, y'all niggas can't provide what we need every fucking day. Y'all can't show up for us every day. Especially y'all who don't take care of yourselves. Y'all don't fucking work out. You smoking all these cigars all the time. You drinking all the time. Your shit don't fucking work after 33, 35, okay? That's that's real. And we need to have that conversation along this conversation. Um, I have four kids after 35. So what? All right, then. Yeah. You the exception? Okay, first of all, you had, you had four. <laughs> two nuts. Nope, nope, nope. Let it marinate, Damon. <laughs> you had four of them and two nuts. Like, That's share, subscribe, effort. tell a friend, and tell a friend. Hit that like button right now. That was happy birthday. <laughs> Ariane with the $2. All right. Damn, Aaron, what with the two dollars is you can get a week off for your monthly thing. Yep. Mike Brown with the two dollars. How often should your man get sex, ladies? And Joe Biden was popping with the five dollars Mary. So if you're willing to tell us not to believe women when they're promising box, what else should men not believe about women? How do we decipher? Mm, mm, mm. Joe Biden, it. Joe Biden can't run a country, but that's a hell of a question. Here y'all go. Because it's something so unrealistic. Now it gotta be so detailed. Like you said we dumb for believing it. Like that was crazy. Because that's unrealistic to believe. It, that's unrealistic. Forever. Forever. You really thought forever. Why don't you just take it when she feels like doing God, it? Damn. It's wow. Sis, no. Sis, add the context. <laughs> Hurry up and add the context. <laughs> With permission. <laughs> what do you mean by take it, oh, sis? Oh, oh, like when she wants to give it. Only when she wants to give it. Get it then. Because isn't she more into it? Doesn't she want it? Doesn't she want some? Sis, look. They, they already said. What did I say? <laughs> I Jesus Christ. That's not know. fair, sis. That's not fair. What did I you say? Know, mean, <laughs> no tea. They took a word out of what she said because she said take it. Oh man, y'all stupid, man. All right, since you're saying when she when she rations it to you, that's when you should you should be happy about it. It's it's probably gonna be more worth it, more pleasurable than somebody laying there because they feel like they have to. Um, don't you hate the don't y'all hate the sex where it's like she not even into it and she's faking noises? They don't know. Can't you tell? They don't know. Can y'all tell? Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm just asking though. When you guys, when you when you want a man that's desirable, he has these options. He put these options aside for you. Why don't you feel like you're obligated to fulfill all these desires and needs? I don't I'm know. Interested I'm, in I'm not rationing no sex. So yeah, I don't ration. So I don't we're, know. It's hard for me to we're interested in fulfilling that need, but the, the scenario you provided is not the same for every man. Everybody doesn't want it every single day. So saying that we're not able to or not willing to fulfill the need is not necessarily accurate because we're gonna show up and we're going to make an attempt to fulfill a need, but that's not that's not a realistic thing that you come across often. Sis, look. <laughs> <laughs> yo come on dana you make it so easy on yourself but you just said if everything fails it's his fault while you up there rationing vagina i didn't say that huh? i said if everything fails is his fault yeah you said if a marriage fails it's always it's ultimately on the man oh, last week <laughs> yeah, that was things. You say you just said like I ain't say that shit today. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, my bad, my bad. I love bringing up old shit. <laughs> right. I mean, come on, Dana, it's all on him. But you rash, you see, you got this nigga. You've been locked up before. You got this nigga in prison. Everything's his fault, and you rationing cheeks. To be clear, I said that was the perception. I said that was not my opinion necessarily. Since you want to bring up old shit, be very clear. Stop the cap. We believe. Yeah, all right. 
Okay. No, I believe you. Stop the cap. Say what I said. Everybody said they don't believe it. No, I do. I believe her. Lying ass liar. <laughs> you want answers. I want the truth. Come on, man. Rational is just a so noun, right? I think that should be another word. What word is it? I don't know, because it sounds like it's scheduled. Like, rationally, I'm only going to get... Rationally, it sounds like it's done on purpose. Yeah, right. it, yeah, like, it's... It, it's it, I'm not purposely it, being... I'm only going to have the good oh, sex this week, done. and then right. next week it's going to be starfish. Let me ask you a question. If a man was being rationed cheeks and he called it abuse, would he be wrong? Abuse? Absolutely, he would be wrong. Are you kidding me? I mean, it's him. So let me get this straight, Dana. He he had a bunch of options. He put those options to the side. You were fulfilling his. Okay. Yep, he made a choice to put those options to the side, right? To make an honest woman out of you, he accepted you with your flaws and all, right? This is a desirable man. Okay. Mm Hmm right you also were doing these things said you were gonna do them now we know that you guys lie on purpose per mary thank you mary and 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 now that you got them right you like gina locked in the um in the attic if you catch my drift and and you just rationing this when you want it you got him in a choco and he better not step out because he gonna be demonized this sounds like abuse. I agree. Who but said I, it? I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> oh, oh I agree. No, talk, no, Mary? Go ahead. Jesus. I agree. This is the reason why. Because in now, my sweet first... B, be careful. You know they're going to turn on you like they did in A. Go ahead. I, listen, I can hold my own respectfully. <laughs> no. Respectfully. But in my first marriage, <laughs> my ex-husband... It was like a sexless marriage. I wanted to have sex. He withheld. It was abuse. So I think whether it's the male or the woman, the action itself is abuse. It's not if it's towards the woman or if it's towards the man that makes it abuse. Huh? Did you say he was tired? Like, what was, how do you how do you hold out? Emotional. Did you say he was tired? Yeah, I don't know. He, he was going through some stuff. He had, and to be honest, to this day, I still don't even really know the why. Oh, let's, let's, walk, let's, let's walk this down. Is it abuse? Sweet beast? Yeah. I see ya. Come on, man. He was manipulated, uh, lied uh, to. Manipulative in that particular scenario. But abuse is a very strong word. So I wouldn't just casually throw that onto somebody withholding sex but you also have to understand what she said he was voluntarily withholding as opposed to living life and not it not being convenient or it not being something they could uh live up to or perform every single day intentionally withholding is far different from um you know just going through life that it that's why i also don't like the word rational. you are intentionally you're making a choice to withhold it right see lauren threw in choice when he chose to commit to the woman she think that she made a point but now what about the choices you making right but again look what happened to the man and uh, and abuse is a strong word but that doesn't mean it's not the right word that's abuse it's not fucking abuse that's ridiculous that's no abuse it is. It, it's emotional abuse because think about what happens. You're in a relationship with somebody and they're purposefully with no reason withholding sex from you. So one, you're going to start questioning yourself. Two, you're you're going through this mental whirlwind of who you're sleeping with if you're not sleeping with me. And it, it's just so many things that come down in reference to the emotional abuse that's happening because somebody is rejecting you because that's what it is. It's rejection. So if you think about all the times that somebody's rejected you in something and how you felt, it's the same thing. Even if they have like a legitimate reason. Right. So I feel like that the difference is you communicating it. So like but that, you, to me, that's not rationing. To right. me, that's you know, like, hey, like I really like I'm throwing up right now. I can't have sex with you because I don't feel good. I don't feel like that's a part of rationing. There's people out there that really 
are like, because I see videos about it all the time where people, women are like, oh no, I don't, I'm just going to roll over. I don't feel like it. Or, you know, no, not today, maybe tomorrow. Not today, maybe tomorrow. Not today, maybe tomorrow. So at that point, how does that man feel on the inside where he's like, okay, she's rejecting me. Why is she rejecting me? Am mm -hmm. I doing something wrong? Is she doing somebody else? You know what I'm saying? Well, like, well, Mary, but, but think, so let's flip that for a brief second. Men, we, we be getting rejected, right? By our wives and our women, right? Where it's, it's a ration, right? You hear men say it, you know, and there's reasons that are justifiable, but there's a plethora of reasons that ain't, you know? And so what would literally happen in a woman's mind if her husband just was like, no, no, no. <laughs> not attracted to me. That's that's gonna be my first go to. He's no longer attracted to me. Yeah, even if he has a a real reason, I probably would still have that in the back of my mind. That would you automatically like assume he cheating too long? Yes, yes, because men want to get it from somewhere. Yes. Okay, so sis, does this make sense? It's cool when they do it. Cool. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck them. Huh? And so yeah. Well, and well, because you know exactly. He cheating. He doing X, Y, and Z. If he rejects you, it's like blasphemous oh. to do, right? But y'all do it every day because it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck I don't think you all will automatically think a woman would. Cool it. It's a problem when I do it. Go, sis. My bad. Are you gonna play that again? <laughs> oh my god! Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. my brother Aaron told me play one more time. It's cool when they do it. <laughs> when I do it. Come on, man, sis. Let's break this down, sis. I don't. I don't think that's what automatically comes to mind for men. But does it now? Because you modern men are something else. <laughs> oh, oh, what, what? You, oh no, here. Oh, what you about to do? Emasculate us, sis? Go ahead. Come on. No, I, no, I wasn't going all the way there. <laughs> you going close? Yeah, because you guys are a little softer these days. Wow. Wow. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck them. God damn, sis. So now, now we soft. So the old niggas let y'all ration vagina. We telling y'all you can't ration vagina. Was We don't like it. You need to do something about it. Now we soft. It sound like they saw. Well, it sounds like it's more likely for it to be rationed to a lot of you soft niggas these days. God, damn, like, like, damn. It's like not attractive. Mm. So, but y'all understand the flip though. How you guys will automatically go to the worst of the worst, but somehow we supposed to take it on the chin, pause. Because we're ladies. Does does anybody ration here can i ask why well it's still neglect and for those in the, those in the comment section saying i'm getting triggered i'm not getting triggered for those that don't know the story i did not have sex with my husband because my husband cheated you don't have so, to tell that story well they comment in and saying i'm getting triggered again i learned you learn a valuable lesson and the lesson is mm -hmm. that is emotional neglect okay if you yeah. are abuse it, it, it's abuse and neglect but, you're right it is, when you are intentionally doing it you have no reason to do it and you've, you've not spoken to your spouse about what they're feeling you don't care about what they're feeling and you're just doing what you want to do it's a difference so yes you do we do need to understand sis that that is they do feel that way they do think that we're cheating they do have these feelings they may not tell us they? but they do think that they do yeah Mm -hmm. I could see how that could become possible. I just don't. I don't know. I'm just saying, though. It, it's it's funny how when it went and then the rabbit got the gun. Now it's automatically everything negative under the sun. But why do you say that? Like y'all don't assume. Oh, God damn it! I'm sideways. Hold on. <laughs> why do you say that? Like y'all don't assume the worst of us too. Y'all think that we're withholding that we could be stepping out? We get accused of that shit too. Okay, I mean, but, look, like you, like you said, it's man. Not, again, it's not one sided. You're not, not a fucking nah, victim. You guys, not, it's not I, get, I get, I get, I get it, I get it. God forbid we we stay on the topic. No, I understand. But you asked the question. I'm answering the question you asked. I ain't really asked none. You're a victim. Mm. 
I mean, I'm just saying, I've never been immediately accused for not doing it. You know, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I feel like I did <laughs> something first. Do you think they would tell you this? Do you think they huh? would tell you if they felt that way? Maybe not. Maybe not. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Shell shock with the five dollars. Imagine a hood dude getting on a pod saying, "If I effed with a, with them because they were desperate and love my shitty draws, it's everyone's story somehow, some way." Joe Biden with the five dollars. Can men promise protection and say it's not realistic? Point is. You're better off admitting what women want to reserve the right to renege on on commitment. Damn, man. Joe Biden's with the two dollars. It's not emotional abuse. It's emotional neglect. I think it's abuse, man. Omar with the five dollars. Hamp. When is the next religious show? I really miss Jenny' insight and wisdom. Ramadan has ended tonight. I'm ready, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Superman with the five dollars. Telling a man you want monogamy, but then choosing not to fulfill all the, all of energy that comes with it is abuse. No warranty. It's it's as is behavior. Superman with the five dollars. Confused, confused. You want men to communicate now? They are, and it's soft and sassy. Fellas, pack it up and go back to keeping it to yourselves. Or, mm, mm, mm. Omar with the five dollars says not having sex because he cheated. Ellipsis probably would just make. Are more important to his happiness at that point. I'm single though, so what do I know? What Hank with the two dollars? I'm glad to see sis back. <laughs> Shell shock with the two dollars. Women lie about age, kids, how much they make, etc. Jesus, they with the five dollars. They're playing with water, but get mad when the brothers find another source. I'm trying, was popping with the five dollars. Most of my married homies say they get less sex from their wives after they got married. Perfect. Like, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Let me ask you guys, and we out.